I've got two jobs. One of them is here at the church centre. Um, I've got Tuesday to Friday, start at 7 until 8.30, um, cleaning the building, which I really enjoy. The other thing that I do in the afternoons is work for GPS in um, St Peter's Road, Huntingdon. Uh, I do archiving, electronic archiving, glorified filing as it used to be, <laughs> and a bit of data input. The other thing I do apart from being a, a wife and, and a mother, although my children are not living at home, but you're always a mother if you're a mother, <laughs> um, is taking part in um, poetry events and helping to organise them in Cambridge. I'm treasurer for that group. It's important to be, to do one's sm seemingly small job um, well so that the whole operation runs smoothly. Well, obviously pipes are very um, strategic in the water and gas industry. I mean for uh, new housing, um, Water companies need pipes, need to replace pipes. So, um, yeah, the gas and water industries are better off for GPS providing their pipes. <laughs> I've enjoyed poetry since I was a small child when my parents bought me a book of um, poems which I read incessantly and we had nursery rhymes. So, kind of rhythm, the rhythm of language is something I really enjoy and appreciate that. The rhythm of poetry kind of reflects the heartbeat actually. It's kind of based on the heartbeat and it just resonates with people. If you can say something that they'll remember about life or which will mean something to them because they've um, maybe experienced that, um, then that will stay with them and it, it just has a magical kind of effect. Well, and then the Psalms, <laughs> um, even Ecclesiastes, and there's a lot of poetry in that and the prophets. If somebody thinks, oh yes, I know what she's on about, that really kind of hits home for some reason, then and can relate to it, it just feel, makes us feel less alone because there's someone out there. I suppose the same is for novels really, that's why people read novels because um, they want to find other people who've experienced what they're going through, whether it's good or bad, you know. And try to um, re do the daily reading every day at some point. During the time I'm cleaning here, for instance, I um, play my um, music CD, Christian uh, worship CD, and um, pray for the activities that are going to take place in the church. Whatever I'm doing in the house, or if I'm driving, I can often, I often talk to God. I hope to keep open to God during the day, and ask God to kind of be in my thoughts and make my work useful and just enjoy his creation so much so looking around I often thank him for um, the creation that I can see. Work, it would be great to stay in this job um, but God knows and if he wants to use me elsewhere I guess he'll move me on but I'm enjoying finding this job manageable, the, the afternoon one and the morning one. Um, at home it would be great to just pray for my family, um, for them to know the Lord. I might be content to um, be that small cog. I am mostly content to be a small cog wherever I am because even small cogs are very um, strategically important to um, the business of anywhere. So, as far as poetry goes, I would like to be able to write stuff that connects with people um, who don't know God, with God in some way.